We are not calling for the ouster of our police chief, and we are not going backwards. We're going to build on what we've been building on. Tonight, some local activists are taking a stand after it comes after comments were made by the leader of the South Carolina Democratic Party calling for the resignation of the Greenville police chief. The leader of the party made the comments after several arrests were made this weekend in downtown Greenville. It happened at the We Won't Go Back rally on Saturday. Those arrests were caught on camera and some are calling them violent. Our Carlos Flores spoke with the organizer of the rally and a protester who witnessed the incidents. Carlos. The reason these community leaders held today's news conference was to encourage people to wait until all the facts were presented before making a conclusion. And after speaking with the organizer and another protester, they say they can't believe this even happened right here in Greenville. It was fine up until the chaos broke out. I was dismayed because I knew that's what would, that's what would be the report on this rally. I was totally I was totally downcast. Saturday's protest in response to the United States Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, like many others happening across the country, was to make those impacted hurt. You could just feel the energy, you know, emanating through the crowd. Schultz says she was at the original rally that ended around 1 p.m., but later returned after seeing people still there. And all of a sudden, we saw the cop on the other side of the street kind of shove a woman she fell back really hard and hit her head and an older woman rushed to her aid and they all started putting their hands on her so a few of us ran up to try to help um, the officer shoved me twice in the chest here and then he took his taser out this led to six people being arrested but Baswell believes there's a bigger issue it essentially silences them, is my feeling. They were silenced because people decided to get violent. And the police got, some of them got violent back. I think it, uh, I think it wipes out whatever good came from this rally. I will continue to show up and speak out because this isn't right. And if I don't do it, who will? The local activists at today's news conference made it clear that Columbia politics does not belong here in Greenville and hope people let this play out. For now, live in Greenville, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4.